Quix is one of the most famous, most highly sought after artists of this generation. Epic fail kami ni Lea because we actually ended up crashing a wedding. First cat show daw sa Philippines yun, na ganung steel. Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to episode 6 of Bet Vlog. So, kamusta kayo dyan? I hope you're all doing fine. In today's episode, we're going to check out the dopest, nicest, freshest looking Filipino designed automatic watch. Yes, you heard that right. Filipino. Pinoy po yung nag-design ng relos na ipapakita ko sa inyo. So, for all of you uh, watch fans out there, make sure to watch the entire episode. Apart from that, we are going to check out the wedding of a very good friend in the tech industry as well as check out Really fluffy, really cute, insanely mm, huggable. He's so fluffy, I'm gonna die! Cats. So let's go. Okay, so for those who don't know, Quix is one of the most famous, most highly sought after artists of this generation. So he actually started with mga graffiti art, heavily inspired by Japanese culture, yung mga robot, yung mga anime. Makikita ninyo sa mga picture na pinapakita ni Jamie ngayon sa pag-editing magic namin. And then of course, he went into art toys. Katulad nito, this is an official collaboration with Hasbro. So kita-kita ninyo, nandyan si Optimus Prime. By the way, big shout out to the Quicks team. They gave this to me as a gift. Appreciate you guys. We dropped by their headquarters a couple of days ago and they gifted me with this. So again, Quicks, Carlo, uh, Luday, maraming salamat. Now, what I want to focus on is this new release that they came out with. This is their first attempt at a watch. And my God, it is a ridiculously sick design. And makikita nyo talaga dito na yung tumira nito or yung nag-design nito doesn't just have an eye for aesthetic, but he really is into the watches. He picked a well-reliable, known, well-known uh, Seiko automatic movement. The build is not actually made out of plastic, kung titignan nyo yan. Actually, it's made out of solid metal. You have the options of going with the rubber strap. You can go with this steel strap over here. Ang ganda, napakalinis. If you take a look at the face of the watch, some sort of like gradient thing going on. You have the logo, of course, of Quicks on the face. And the design, my God, it's just really nice. And it, it actually reminds me of the size of the Submariner of Rolex, no? By the way, we've been talking about it for a minute now and I wasn't even able to share a little bit about it. This is actually called the Ghost Boy, which debuted during Designer Con. It sells for $300 SRP. Uh, that's by a kid robot. And those who are lucky enough to get their hands on it, there are only 500 pieces available worldwide. So again, if you're a fan of Quicks, if you're a fan of streetwear and street culture, especially, you know, the, you know, the work of Quicks, then you really might want to take a look at this watch. Okay, so next. So, marami siguro sa inyo curious ko. Ano to, no? Pinakita ko sa so, Maita Sulan box it. So, by the way, quick shout out to another one of our favorite artists, Wetworks. Ang ganda nung ginawa niya dito. So, shout out to Carlo Cacho. Okay, so buksan natin to. So, ito yung collaboration with uh, Hasbro featuring Optimus Prime. May linabas na siyang version nito. Again, through Editing Magic, papakita ni Jamie yung picture ng, I think, Soundwave tsaka Bumblebee. Uh, this is with Mighty Jax naman. So, buksan natin siya. Oh, mabigat. So, hindi siya ano. Hindi siya yung, ano tawag mo doon, yung plastic. Parang gawa yata siya sa polystone or something. Medyo mabigat siya. Woo! <laughs> Di naman nasira. <laughs> okay, so that is not, not how you unbox toys, okay? You should do it with care. So, yan siya. Ayan, you have Optimus Prime. May hawak siyang parang ano. Parang throwback doon sa ano eh, yung mga b-boy culture na meron kang, di ba? Meron kang boombox, tas meron kang radio. Ano pangalan nung ano na to? Di ba Transformers din itong dude na to? Hindi, si Soundwave yung masaya, masama eh. Basta may mabait na ganyan, di ba? So, hindi ko matake. Ginugol ko yung pangalan ng counterpart ni Soundwave sa Autobots. It's Blaster. Kaya pala hindi naman siya maalala kasi compared to Soundwave, yung Blaster yan eh, parang eh. So anyway, back to the video. So yan, tas, yeah, so Optimus Prime. Then you have the Quicks logo at the forehead as well as in the boombox. So again, shout out. Uh, maraming salamat, Luday, Quicks, and Carlo. Okay, so yun yung gusto ko lang show and tell segment natin. Actually, parang yun na yung nagiging theme ng Bet Vlogs eh. May show and tell sa part 1. Pagkatapos nun, we give you the business updates, di ba? Um, so at this point, I'll throw you over to Jamie who will share with you what happened during a wedding na naligaw sila. And then pagkatapos nun, si Ryan, ikukwento sa inyo yung napakapanalong cat show na pinuntahan namin uh, dito sa Unbox Greenhouse. But bagong lahat yan, meron ako sobrang great news from our friends from GoTime and Cebu Pacific. So guys, imagine nyo to. Imagine nyo yung mga dalawa-tatlong biyahe ninyo for the year. 
Kasi may nabili kayo mag-travel. Punta kayo Japan, punta kayo dito sa Manila, kung saan man, libre. Sagot ng Cebu Pacific, tsaka ng GoTime. Yun yung good news natin. Dahil meron tayong sobrang panalong promo from GoTime na ang tawag ay, sobrang straightforward ng pangalan niya, GoTime Fly for a Year Raffle Promo. Kung hindi mo pa gets ko ano yun, ewan ko na. So, simple lang siya. Promo period is February 25 to June 30. All you have to do is to have a GoTime account. Then you pay for your Cebu Pacific flight uh, using or upgrade or add-ons using your GoTime account. And pagkatapos nun, for every 500 pesos, meron kang one raffle entry. Tapos, qualified users who have successfully paid for their flights, makakuha kayo na raffle entries and pwede kayo manalo nung one whole year na pwede kayo makapagbiyahe courtesy of GoTime and Cebu Pacific. Now, if you do decide to avail of this promo and gusto nyo sumali sa raffle, one, kailangan nyo muna magbayad for a Cebu Pacific flight or add-on, you have to go to the link which you'll find sa baba Nandun yung i-click ninyo, then you'll fill out that form with all the necessary details. Take note that the deadline of submission of entries is only until June 30. And then pagkatapos nun, yung draw will actually happen on July 7 with a DTI representative. So ano yung price? Well, there will be 15 round-trip flights which will be equally distributed to 3 lucky winners. So all the details ng promo can be found in the official mechanics which are linked down below. So kung gusto niyo sumali, guys, make sure to avail of it, lalong-lalo kung magbiyahe na rin naman kayo. Make sure to do it with go time para pag nag, alam mo 'yun, pag binayaran niyo na, may chance pa kayo manalo ng additional flights for the year. Hey guys, JB here. So Konting context lang sa mga nangyari sa amin. So like what Carlo said, it was the wedding of one of my long-time friends in the industry, si Jam of Jam Online. You might know him. And his now wife, si Paula. I actually consider Jam one of my brothers. Pero epic fail kami ni Lea because we actually ended up crashing a wedding because we went to the wrong chapel with the same name. So sa previous episode ng Bet Vlog, sabi ni Carlo, mag-attend kami ng wedding. Ako dapat mo vlog ng wedding na yon. Well, nandito si Carlo, pero ako dapat mo vlog from the ceremony to the reception. Problema, kami ni Lea, pumunta kami sa maling chapel. Pareho ni ng chapel, pero magkabila ang dulo. So, nandito kami ngayon, isa sa pinakauna sa reception. So, peace, Jam and Paula, congratulations and best wishes. Uh, we will see what everyone said about your beautiful ceremony. And we were sorry, we're sorry na muli yung pinatan namin and we weren't able to attend. So, ano yung unang giveaway sa'yo na mali yung chapel na pintuhan natin? <laughs> Honestly, hindi pa nga because wala akong kilala ng isang tao sa guest. I figured, lahat sila late. <laughs> and then, I looked at the, yung groom. Titignan ko si Jam. Ko, nagpadala siya ng photo, parang cream or white yung ano niya, yung outfit. So, ko, naka-blue to. <laughs> And then it occurred to me, parang pelikulang Pinoy lang pumunta kami sa wedding ng ibang couple na hindi namin kilala at hindi rin kami kilala. Air check nyo naman yung venue nila for the reception. Of course, hindi dito gagawin sa lawn mismo reception. But look at that. Looks so great. We will walk to where the reception will be held right now. But looks so good. Fresh air plus fresh air. Na ito sa Maynila. Welcome, 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 and so, congratulations. Uh, Kapusta naman ang ceremony since hindi kami nakatend. It was so fun, you know. Uh, jam, you know, and also Paula had a really great time in front of Lord Almighty. <laughs> Don't scent of the evening. Mm. <laughs> Tiger Katol. <laughs> May ano yan? Notes of ano? Notes of uh, incense <laughs> and death of mosquitoes. Sir Jerome Adrian and Mrs. Paula Katrina. Of course, since wedding nila, we wanted to provide a special moment for Jam and Paula. We have a long-running joke na gumagawa kami ng tarp, una virtually lang, to celebrate things like Jam getting his first US visa for his first US trip, so on and so forth. Pero yung tarp na yun, parang ginagawa namin, parang nakita nyo sa lamay. And since wedding to, syempre epic. So from the virtual online na pinapost namin sa Facebook, nagpagawa kami ni Lea ng actual tarp na present namin during yung photo taking with the bride and groom and mukha naman sila natawa
again, yun na yung portion na to for Jam and Paula's wedding. Again, congratulations, guys. So, Jam, congratulations. Paula, congratulations. Ang masabi ko na sa inyo, super proud of you guys. Wish you nothing but the best. And with that, I turn you over to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Ako, lagi ko na alala, Jam. You would always pursue Paula sa podium. Keep pursuing her to the day that you guys, you know, join the Lord. As in, it's what got you here. So, yun. Love you guys. Congrats. Yeah. You treat Paula as a queen every day and sa pateon. You'll be happy as well. You guys deserve each other, so treasure it. Nah, we don't advise from them. And I'm actually curious to know, you guys watching this, if you're married or you're about to get married, let me know in the comment section. Let us know in the comment section kung may epic fail moment ba from your wedding or kasalukuhan yung pinagtadaanan with your suppliers. May, may ganun, may padrop pa. Huwag niyong pangalanan ha, kasi supplier niyo yun. Huwag naman tayo ganun. But yeah, let us know in the comment section. Anyway, I'll pass you off the ride to talk about the cute, cute cat show that took place in Upper Box. Ayun, last weekend, nagkaroon ng cat show dito sa Upper Box. Actually, siguro fun fact lang, sila yung pinakaunang uh, client ng Upper Box. They book Upper Box even before magkaroon ng kahit anong booking. Ngayon nga lang, uh, supposedly November yung cat show. Yun. Na-move siya to February, which is yung ngayon, last weekend. Ayun, tapos uh, sobrang mahal pala ng mga pusa doon, no? yung mga, yung mga shinoke sila. Six digits, as in per cat, hundreds of thousands yung presyo niya. And yun, sobrang, sobrang cute. Uh, I spoke with the organizers, nag-enjoy naman sila, and uh, they actually uh, want to book another date, another weekend this, ano, uh, later this year, parang November ulit. Coming soon yan, i-announce lang namin. Pero siguro, share ko na rin sa inyo, because of the cat show, merong mga nag-inquire sa upper box na iba pang mga animal-related na mga communities. Meron tayong rabbit community na nag-inquire, tsaka reptile community na uh, pencil book na. Dahil dito sa cat show na to, siguro sa side naman namin, magkaroon kami ng mga, siguro we can say learnings. Kasi syempre, first time, first time namin na uh, magkaroon ng ganong klaseng event. And I believe first cat show sa Philippines, may nag-post eh. First cat show daw sa Philippines yun, na ganong scale. So yun, speaking of upper box, kung naghahanap kayo ng uh, event space para sa mga parties ninyo, mga events ninyo, uh, mini conventions, mini meetups, message us upper box. So I'm back, and what is our lesson for the day? Our lesson for the day is to dream big. Kasi imagine ninyo si Quicks started from designing random ideas that would come out of his head. He would put it up on murals, you know, put it up on kung ano lang maisip ninyo. And now, the guy is killing it. He has collaborations with Hasbro. He has collaborations with brands such as Smart, Johnny Walker, Adidas, and a bunch of other brands. So, the first step to becoming great and becoming successful is to dream big. So, kung maliit pangarap ninyo sa buhay, ending-ending yan, baka wala kayo marating. Pero kung malaki pangarap ninyo and you put in the work, then who knows, you might be the next guy doing your own Optimus Prime figure or t-shirt. Guys, this is Carlo. Thank you for watching. See you next time.